morning from Rockwood. Rockwood, Pennsylvania. On the Gap Trail. Uh, as we left off at the last video, you know, we are not <laughs> going to continue on the trail because of my knee. So the plan is, we called around shuttles. It's just, you know, we had, didn't plan for this. So, of course, we don't have a shuttle booked. And, um, and they're booked out, so we don't want to pay for a hotel until one has a... Yeah, and there's no, we're like, we're not going to rent a car and that kind of thing. Yeah, so. so I got thinking, well, it's only 44 miles back to the van in Cumberland. So yeah. um, <clears throat> it's a nice, quiet, safe place for Irene and Pistol to hang out. I'm going to disconnect my bike from the trailer. Yeah. Take bare minimum stuff. I'm leaving before 8 this morning. I'm going to ride my bike back over the Continental Divide. Over the Mason-Dixon line, through the... Tunnels and bridges, back yeah. to the van in Cumberland. Hop in the van. It's like an hour drive back to here from Cumberland, and then hope park, to, park at the trailhead down the park trailhead. You, you can't drive. This this campground is like a quarter mile from the trailhead where you can park. So then yeah. we'll have to. I'll come back and shuttle the bikes and the trailers to the trailhead, and we'll be ready to take off. And so then we'll decide, depending whether we want to spend the night here in the trailhead in the van and listen to this lovely echoing off the river train that goes by continuously. The train is very loud here. We say that a lot as we camp along a rails trails, right? Yeah. Uh, the river, the river is laying in bed last night. I think it makes it echo. It's just like, it was... Even the cars that go yeah. echo. Yeah. So um, anyway, um, that's the plan. I'm going to book it this morning, get this 20 mile climb out of the way and then smooth sailing down to Cumberland. Now, I'm not worried about him riding the bike for some reason because he rides alone all the time, but um, <clears throat> the like part I'm worried about is him driving over to pick me up. He's got to drive an hour and he's got to drive out of Cumberland without his navigator. When's the last time you drove without me? Been, we don't know. It's been a long time. <laughs> it is weird. I've, I've driven a few times and it's like after almost six years of everywhere I drive, we're together. It's like, I get in the car, I'm like, hmm. Someone, yeah. Where's the person that tells me what to do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In all aspects of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'll admit it. I'm going to finish this coffee here and hop on the bike and loosen these stiff old legs up. Okay, we'll see you this afternoon. Okay. Love you. you. Thank you. Well, a couple miles into it and uh, leaving early in the morning like this is pretty cold. It's like, a, I don't know, maybe mid 50s. Fingers are kind of cold, kind of foggy and wet. That's okay. Makes me ride faster. Trying to maintain a 14 mile an hour pace up the grade to the divide. See how that goes. But so far, so good. So I am 10 miles into the ride. 10 more miles of this grade to the divide. Oh. Here comes that bridge, oh boy. Ah, pavement or concrete, I guess. That gravel's noisy after a while when you're riding a little harder. So far I'm keeping a bit over 14 mile an hour pace. Happy with that. I was just having these strange worries that I was gonna have like a mechanical issue like derailleur or chain. And now what? I don't want to think about that, but I guess you'd figure it out. It's deja vu all over again. Still got plenty of water, not stopping. I think this is the mile marker, one mile to the divide. Yes, one more mile, and then it's downhill for 24. Ah, let go 
goes up, must go down. The long dark tunnel. I think I'll slow down here. Just flew by Frostburg before I knew it, so yeah, I think I'm must be what is it? 16 miles. 16 miles to Cumberland. Yeah. You guys want to race? Anybody up for a race? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> wow. It's a good ride. Now let's see if the van's still here. Van's still here. I think I'm gonna get a detour here and treat myself something for tonight. If they're open. Closed. <laughs> Well, hon, which, where do I, I guess I gotta figure this out myself. Well, this is weird. I gotta drive back to Rockwood to pick Irene up with no one here to tell me how to do it. Let's see if I can figure this out. Anyway, uh, yeah, what a hammer fest. I rode as hard down as did up. Um, I had to set a goal can just enjoy the 44 mile ride knowing Irene's waiting for me. So I had to like set a goal to, okay, see how fast you can do it. So I, uh, the stats for those interested, I averaged about 14 miles an hour on the way up to the divide and pretty close to 20 miles an hour on the way down. I rode down as hard as I rode up. And <clears throat> so I averaged out, I don't know, less than 17 mile per hour for the whole trip which not bad for a heavy steel bike and fat gravel tires low pressure in them on gravel so i'm happy i'm happy so i'm gonna head back he's back oh my hero it's new not bad huh oh my god you flew <laughs> pistol are you happy daddy's back well thank you so much for making camp yeah well the first thing he comes to is the tent it's back in the bag but not well. So, I mean, it fit, but I don't have the finesse you have breaking down camp, that's for sure. I just moose everything. Um, so while you were gone, you, miss me, girl. you know, I told you guys we were posting this live over on like daily updates and stuff on Patreon. And so they've known about my knee issue coming along and really trying to help me troubleshoot and heal it up and you know, that type of thing, which I so appreciate. And I was worried, I kept thinking it was it was a, a bike fit um, issue. And I, yeah. I, I was, but I was looking at her fore and aft looked good, her height of her saddle looked good. And I even talked to her, we need to go um, get a professional bike fitting. Cause yeah. I just knew it had to be something with bike fit. But and I thought too, I was like, maybe my seat's not the same, but that's it. that was exactly the same. Riding position was fine. However, when uh, I read a comment this morning on Patreon, Stuart, he said, check the clips, the cleats on your shoes because he had a similar issue. And it turns out one of his cleats had twisted slightly. So it wasn't aligned correctly. So when you clip in, it's actually making your... And I didn't think, yeah, that's, it makes sense. But I never thought about any of this. I kept thinking about it. A couple months ago, you towed pistol almost 300 miles across Missouri with no issues. Nothing, yeah. But yeah, I think Stuart, looking at the shoes, you at can first see. glance you don't see much, but you can see this should be straight up and down. Yeah, that's the good leg, and this is the bad leg. It's pointing out. It's crooked, so. So she should be riding like this, uh -huh. but it's making her foot tilt out. Tilt out. So every pedal stroke, it's just. 
Yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty sure Stuart nailed it. Oh, I have no doubt that's it because it's it felt like something like that was going on, but I just didn't. I feel bad. I never thought, but I've never I've never. I feel had an silly. Issue. Like that's all it is. But you know, somebody else commented it's the smallest things that make the like create the biggest issues, and that's true. It's like Princess and the P, right? <laughs> Anyway. So now we have to regroup and rethink. Yeah. Because. I'm relieved it's that. I'm relieved it's not something like I'll never ride a bike again. Like this. I was so happy to find that out. Like I'm very excited. Yes. I'll need to rehab my knee, you know, for a little while. But. Um, so um, I still haven't eaten since yesterday. So um, I'm thinking we get the pistol. <laughs> Salty. <laughs> she loves the salt. Um, I definitely want to go over and do a beer sampler at the brewery in town. Yeah. And I think we should take today and tomorrow and regroup and think about it, see how your your knee does. But I definitely think we need to make sure it heals completely, however long that takes. I agree. But um, I'm thinking maybe we do some different looks at the gap, some different trailheads. Maybe I'd like to do some running on it, maybe bike it more. Who knows, maybe yeah. if you're if your knee issue goes away completely in a couple of days, do some test rides without the trailer. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll both ride some more. Maybe we'll ride we some, seg know. some segments of it. So, so anyway, we'll... Um, we're just going to regroup. Uh, gonna the, regroup. The whole trip might not be scrapped, but up to this point, we don't know. Um, you definitely need a few days off, and I don't want to stay here for a few days. Yeah, no. So we'll get back to you. Uh, the plan. Yeah, next week. I guess you'll find out. So, <laughs> all right. Talk to you soon. Carry on. Carry on. For behind the scenes footage, extra content, and all our videos early release and ad free, check out our Patreon page. And check out our blog on our website, carryonvagabond.com. Thanks again and carry, carry on. on.